I'm Lexi from Spice Walla, and today we're going to be making eggnog with brown butter cognac. Eggnog first became popular in the 13th century when monks were drinking it with eggs, cream, sherry, and spices, all of which were considered to be luxury items. Its holiday association comes from spices that were traditionally used um, around Christmas time, such as nutmeg and cinnamon. When people were cooking with those spices around Christmas time, naturally they just decided to start incorporating them into their eggnog, and that is how the eggnog that we all know and love came to be today. My inspiration from this eggnog actually came from the monks, who I mentioned before like to drink their eggnog with sherry. So we're going to be using a Pedro Jimenez sherry in this recipe, as well as Luxardo Maraschino liqueur, almond milk, heavy cream, brown sugar, spice wall nutmeg, spice wall cinnamon, eggs, of course, and my own personal recipe for brown butter infused cognac. To make the brown butter cognac, we're going to be using a technique called fat washing, which is not as scary as it sounds. You're basically just going to be taking a fatty substance such as butter or oil and infusing it into a spirit of choice. You're going to melt three tablespoons of butter in a saucepan over medium heat. Take one of your spice bowl of cinnamon sticks and throw that in the pot. Stir constantly until the butter is brown. It takes about three to five minutes. Just make sure that you watch it because if you're not careful, it will burn really quickly. So once it's a nice, delicious golden brown, Set it aside, it's gonna smell amazing. To take your cognac, and once your butter is cooled, go ahead and combine one cup of the cognac in a container with your brown butter. Then shake, shake, shake. Let it sit at room temperature for about an hour. Then stick it in the freezer for about five hours or overnight. When you take it out of the freezer, you're gonna see that the butter has solidified into one layer at the top. You can remove that layer of butter, then take some cheesecloth or a fine strainer, whatever you have, and strain your brown butter cognac. So there are two ways that you can go about assembling your eggnog. Some people like to separate the egg yolks from the whites and then whisk the whites at the very end so that you get the nice like frothiness on top of the drink right when you're ready to serve. But in this recipe, I'm gonna be showing you how to just blend everything together. If you want to see the other way to assemble the eggnog, check out our other eggnog recipe, which uses mezcal and creme de cacao, and I do actually separate the egg yolks from the whites in that video. Let's assemble this cocktail. In your blender or your mixer, go ahead and beat the eggs until smooth. Slowly add your sugar, your nutmeg, and continue blending until the sugar is dissolved. Add the sherry, the cognac, Luxardo maraschino, the almond milk, and the cream, then blend some more. Refrigerate overnight and blend it before serving so it's nice and frothy. When you're ready to serve, go ahead and pour it into a beautiful, dainty little cup and garnish with freshly grated nutmeg. You guys are absolutely going to love this recipe. It's so delicious. It's got all those beautiful warming spices, the nuttiness of the sherry. It has literal butter in it, so what's not to love? You're gonna love it, and I think your friends will too. Cheers.